Man, I am stoked. Today I'm getting my SMTA. But that ain't what this video is about. Now, this is Farmall Fanatic, Farmall International Channel. And yes, every once in a while, I still do have to remind people that this is a Farmall International Channel, okay? But every blue moon, I deviate. This is one of those deviations. Now, I was at the RES auction where I got the SMTA. And... A viewer and his son come up to me and he says, hey, three miles down the road, there's this museum. It's an Oliver Museum. It has Oliver, Minneapolis Moline, Cockshut. There was even a cool farm all tractor in there. And uh, they, they were like, jump in the truck, let's go. Kind of knows the guy personally, so it's like, yeah, I probably won't be back again, so let's go. And here's what I saw. If you're an Oliver guy or gal, or many, or cockshot, this one's for you. Well, I don't know where we're at, but a couple of viewers, he just took his shirt off. He's had too much to drink. And, uh, but come on, you're in fit. You're in great shape for 82 years old. But yeah, check this out. I mean, he's got all kinds of stuff in here. But anyways. Oliver. Okay, this guy's an Oliver Minneapolis Moline guy, so. Jeez. Got an Oliver 88 there. So this is the gateway to Oliver Heaven, huh? Oh, you get that underbelly up in heaven. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm seeing an 88. You don't need to take my picture. I I'll break that camera. Well, I'm just, uh, well, no, you can't break it. I already... I immunized it with my own. F uh, ooh, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Plows. What? It's a plow room for obvious reasons. Ooh. Don't want to be in here in a tornado. <laughs> no, you're in here in a tornado and you're going to wish you were Toto. <laughs> You'd be better off. Pretty Good grief. Ever take anything over to RES? I do. Okay. I got beat by every time I've been there. Yeah. I took 10 tractors in the first antique sale. Check this out. He's even, he's got a co-op. I mean, this is, this is stellar. I'm flabbergasted. Check this out. This is, this thing is all restored and everything. Cockshot, plow, two bottom, three bottom. He's got an Oliver. Holy crap. Good grief. Uh, that it did take me take me three weeks to just talk about each piece he's got in here. He got stuff hanging. I mean, ooh, ooh, on rubber here, on rubber there. I mean, not saying you don't have any on steel. Looks like yeah, steel over there. Oliver number eleven. Wait, number forty-one B over there. Right there. It is? That must be lead to some kind of special. That plow was never in the ground. That plow was never in the ground. Wow. Well, is it just always a display model? I mean, yeah. huh. No kidding. This is impressive. Some horse ties there. <laughs> 50 pounders. <laughs> <laughs> I got this baler in Tennessee two years ago. Look at all yeah. the Look at all that thing That's what I'm saying. Out. I mean, who did it all? I told you. Woo. Are you having fun yet? At Harper. What part of Pennsylvania? Between Erie and Meadville. I worked at Conneautville and oh, yeah. Crawford County for a long time. We just sold out up there about three years ago. Look yeah. That Meadville a lot. Look at that ear of corn. <laughs> Look at everything. Yeah. Clear corn came from trees. When I was a kid, clear Bale Master here. here Ooh. Man, it's just mint. Stuff is just mint. This is nuts. It's about three miles from the RES auction. And these guys were like, We gotta take you over there, man. You gotta go check this out. Yeah, it ain't farm all, but it's it's all over. Uh there's some mini stuff apparently here. Said he does have some farm all stuff. We're gonna check it out. 
But everything here is mint, man. I mean, it is mint, mint. And, and it's, it, I, I don't know who did all the work to just organize everything. It must have been weeks on end, you know, all of our 70 row crop. Um, we had, I think, an 80 at one point in time on our farm. You know, it just goes on and on and on. Power units, 77, 188. Oh, here we go. First red thing I've seen. Sheesh. All over 990. There you go. Lead track, HG. The place to be, 1969. Oliver 1950 and I know I'm missing stuff. I mean, I'm just panning the camera around. You guys are probably like, I can't believe you missed that one thing. Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm gonna miss stuff. He's got, you know, pedal tractors up top. I mean, this is just, this is sick. It's probably, if you're an Oliver guy, it's probably as close to pockets as you can get and still be not pockets for Oliver. Uh, this is this impressive. Oliver 77 road grader 1957 gross gene last name that's that's his that's that guy with the yeah check that out it's just look at this on steel jeez it's 77 770 got some grippers on there though I gotta get back over to the other side here. Well, no, but I'm just trying to figure out who did all the organizing of this. How long did it take you? Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks for one can. It took them two weeks to get one of those cans on the shelf. Yeah, I started in 1971. Tell them the story. Huh? You worked for Dave Ocker. Well, I helped him and Steve Andrews. But I, I like collecting. My mom died, or my dad died, and we stuff hanging in there came off the family farm. That was in 72 when I did that. Huh. So mom sold the farm, I bought a little place. I kept piling on wagons and storing them, and I finally had to get a place to put all that shit. And you got it. This, these are all high crop pedals. Did you know something behind me? What's up? These are all high crop pedals. High crop pedals, yes, they are. Mini, cock shot. They all match my big trackers. Now, do you like it when people say cock shot, the Canadian Oliver? Yeah, you see a bunch <laughs> of them in the other building. Yeah. Yeah, these, these are cool, man. You haven't seen my ice tray collection yet. <laughs> I mean, good grief. Boat motors. Please do not touch. I got a whole bunch upstairs in their building and their tractor tires. But these are all from the 40s and 30s. Jeez. Along with depression glass. Back when they were smoking Lucky Strikes. That's right. Cold pork history already. Jeez. Philip Morris. The IH. My Amish girls counted 10,000 cans and things back there. 10,000? Jeez. <laughs> Well, they're clean and they just keep counting, you know. How often do they dust once a month? Yeah, about. There you go, they're you. Camels. I forgot about camels. Yeah, I used to talk about lucky strikes. How do I get them? Here, camels. The girls were getting older and they These like, Oliver, they made boat motors and. Good grief. Yeah, 35 were. horse. That was, that was cooking back in the I day. I'm getting all them models. Yeah. Sheesh. Apparently we're going in the man cave. Oh, there you go. Got the cow hide and all kinds of toys galore in here. Sheesh. I just got this picture off for sale the other day. Look at that kid. Ain't that, ain't that spiteful. <laughs> That's funny. Peeing on a tractor tire. <laughs> he must have been a John Deere fan. Yeah, he didn't like yeah, <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've showed people these pictures. You were there. Old toy combine right there. Oh, yeah. Check that out.
Oh, that was unbelievable. Ain't that fun? Oh. Yeah. Your bookers are all signed in. You don't have to if you don't want to. Woo! Oh, yeah, I'll sign in. He's, he's getting strong. Oh. It's like air conditioning in here. It does pretty good until it gets about 90 outside. Yeah. Then it just reverses and goes the other way. It gets hot and shit. Yeah. How many sales? Do you ever keep track of how many sales you ever went to? Oh, uh, just put <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> What is the date today? It's 5 6 2023. What's that? Blood type, social security number? How about this? That's my number. Boom. There you go. Got a co op right there, 1952 E4. And that's not to be confused with an Army E4 or a military E4 because this thing's about a Colonel and a half. And we just move right on down the line. I mean, just there's too many to talk about really individually, but he's got this all hooked up. Super 55. We just saw what a 550 over at the auction cell. This is different though. This is a high crop. Yeah, I see it sits high. Yeah. How many of them you ever seen? 55 high crop. 55 high crop, probably right out of Arkansas rice fields. See, that old two row man, that thing is meant. 660, 1959, 660, factory three point. I mean, it's just, I, I, <laughs> I wish I could just talk about three tractors. Got an Oliver bench sit there in case you want to take a break because you're out of breath because you're an Oliver fanatic. Another Oliver there. And yeah, I'm, I'm buzzing by stuff, man. Super 44 right here. Mint, 11A Oliver Manure Spreader, Oliver 11 Superior, um, 440 right there, tow bar, cock shot 315, sickle bar mower, oh my word. Now that's one I probably wouldn't have sold right there. Cock shot two row here, wide. Oh, there you go. 770 diesel. And you're gonna grip this, one thing you ain't gonna do is be a weasel. 66 vegetable tractor yeah 47 horsepower there you go and i gotta tell you for some reason that engine looks tilted back like that and i don't know i don't know enough Jeez. 995 lugmatic gm diesel i mean 880 there got a what 19 1800 there cock shut 1755 keep the drive alive and yeah, 1600 Oliver over there, Minneapolis Moline, another cock shut 1955 right there. Uh, this Mini is a uh, G850, and that's a high crop, man. So you, I've got to tell you, that is, that is a rare bird. I, you don't see too many Minis, and definitely have never seen a high crop. Yeah, and look way up on the shelf there and he's got a farm all am up there with the mounted picker right about there ski yeah got a little oliver 770 cool cool stuff i mean narrow front yeah this is nice this is cool oliver hd we saw i think we saw one of these over in the other building 66 Oliver Titusville. Oh, well, that's in my neck of the woods right there. Old Ironworks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not far from the house at all, right there. Another 1600. Interesting weight stacked right up. Good grief, he's got them hiding back here too, 1650. Okay, another high crop, good grief. I mean, this gotta come out of the rice fields too, huh? They're all high crops, every one of them. 21 of them. Jeez, 21 high crops. Grief. We're putting number 22 together now, Brandon is. Sheesh. 
And there you go. Oh, many. <laughs> Brad, get your ejection pump done. 1600. 64. We're boogieing through here. Finally, we got one that looks like it might have saw a field or two in its life. Another high crop. I'm the second owner on that. 1550. Second owner. And there you go. This is came from Arizona. Yeah. One tracker, one job. Cock shut high crop, vegetable sprayer. Wow, well, you can walk right around the deck. You could fish off that sucker. Super 88, Oliver. You see that one the 10 behind me? Yeah. Oh, white 2110. Woo, and that's high crop too. I mean, you, you got this, you won't know what to do. Ay, ay, ay. Mighty toe, white, 4115. Yeah, that, that's a machine there. I've got another one here. The first one I think I've seen with a cab. 1955. With cab. Yeah. That's my snow piling tractor. Yeah, it's it. Drains my driver. Yeah, it does a nice job, I'm sure. This tractor here is one of the ones ever made. That's the only one. Well, Woo! This. Oliver Standard 70. Super 77. No. Looking up on the shelves, I mean, there's just a just a slew of stuff. I could never get it all in a day. This board's redwood. There's a picture of the tree that came out. See them guys sitting on the notch? Yeah, sitting on the notch, and there's the wood. No kidding. Look at the size of that thing. And there you go. Curry lumber. Just interesting artifacts. 880, heart par 30. Yeah, go get some gas. 80. Red River Special, 1909. Little chisel plow. 1500. Hydropower drive, 1800. LP. Yeah. Got the bonnet on it. 1650. Oh yeah. Front wheel assist. You get stuck in that sucker. What's your shin? Got an old four bottom. That's nice. This is one of Richard's tractors. See what you got it. Hook two. Yeah, I've been on this together down at Greens 30 years ago. 1600. I didn't have as much money as he LP. Had then when he had to say I bought her, he got to restore it. Well, there you go. That's a picture for you. In through the outdoor, man, we're going through the labyrinth. <coughs> Whew. All for 60. Looks like maybe what, a co op behind there, orange? No, that's an Oliver. That's an Oliver. An Oliver okay. 25 Airport. Whew. Check out that disc plow. Yep, 1655, 1900, 1865. Diesel. Louis, how many of these have you ever seen? G950, many. Now, is this the original paint on this? The red and white? Yes, and... That's the original color it was. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I, yeah, that's what I meant, original color. Yeah, what? Uh, it was a uh, promotion that year. Okay. So it'd be like International's Demonstrator. Yep, exactly. Okay. 13 G1355. White diesel. Huh. 74. What's this? Nebraska cornrow press. They used to plant the corn on a lister planter for the seed wood and river it because the seed wasn't pushing out around it. So they made these things so the seed would push down it. Then somebody came up with the idea of putting a press wheel behind the corn plant. Huh. There you go. That's just pretty new. I bet you haven't seen that yet, have I? Shears. Another white. Oh, there you go. 
It's an articulating monster. Oh, we got an MV here. Okay, we're going the other way first. I get drifted, man. I see red, I magnetize toward it. Oh, yeah. Diesel 880. These are all unusual tractors. This is my first Oliver, Lou. It's your first Oliver. 40 years. 880, huh? Now, where'd you get it? Huh? Where'd you get it? Pure farm equipment. Okay. Ron Ackerman. How many propane 660s you ever seen? It's just toys galore, pedal tractors, and combine up there. And yeah. Minneapolis Moline got white on the front, but A4T 1600. And that looks like a beast. Tell me how many horsepower this is. Someone look it up. First on race day, Ford. I grew up on an 8M Ford. That's a 1951, same as my dad had. Yep, they sold two at the sale today. What did it bring? Uh, I, think, I think the first one might have bring a couple thousand. The second one brought maybe a thousand bucks. That's about a thousand of usually. Huh? Yeah, well, I, the first one came with a plow hooked to it, oh, so yeah. it sweetened the pot a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, man. This is unreal. <laughs> What do we got here? Ooh, front wheel assist. 2150. I knew somebody put a uh, 3208 cat diesel in one of these. Ooh, here's Combine. 531's probably not narrow. Yep. Lou, you see that picture? Sheesh. 535 combine. It's just a hair smaller than my Massey, but it's a whole lot nicer, cooler. Yeah. Looks like when you bought the lot of the Kalem farm, we were cleaning out boxes over there, and that Red River Special Thrasher guys in there. I was going through boxes, and there was a pamphlet for the Red River Thrasher in that, that farm you bought over there. Mm. Louisiana. Louisiana. I got that from uh, Ollie Schaefer. That's a cotton stripper. Okay. So it would go along and then it would pull the cotton balls off the stems. It, you didn't see that. But the trouble was, it was the ground wasn't just right. It pulled the whole stock roots and all, and then it get jammed up. It didn't never pay them out very good. Okay. Hmm. You see how they do it now? They, got, they pick them and bail them. Yeah, it's in a big bale. No, oh, it's unbelievable what they do now. I went to sale in Alabama, and I went down for two or three tractors, and I got them. And this kid came up to me after a while, after a sale, and said, hey, I got a farm oil you like, because he knew I liked high crops. And I said, oh, I'm not into farm oils too much. He said, you got to see this and know. You know, over here, look at this picture of the car. Look at how it looked when I found it. MV. He didn't even have a battery in it. He said, it runs good. I said, don't even have a battery. He went and got the batter out of his truck and started right up propane. It's vegetable. It's got the original plate. It's got the hay loader on it. Now I got a two bottom tumble pile I got in Montana on the back of it. That's a McCormick. Wow. You don't see me in the middle, huh? Uh, I've never seen one. I go to plow days and stuff, and I've never seen anyone with one. You know, I've seen, you know, on the internet, you know, a guy might have had one or whatever. They'll tumble, but no, nah, not in person. This came on Oscar's Dreamland out in Montana. Billings, out in Billings, Montana. No kidding. Standard 80. The old 5 mini 99 is the Waukeshaw gas engine now. The other one's got a walk of shaw diesel. And this is a walk of shaw Ah. Louie, I went off to Ollie Shea for sale. I didn't have side curtains in this tractor. It's a 50. All over 50. It made only less than 100 of them. And I tried to find shields for it. Nobody had them. And there was a pair on a damn wagon. That was brand new. I paid nine hundred dollars that set of shields. I mean, me and one of the guys, all I want to do was they do that. That's all it takes. Two dudes fighting over it, raise yeah. price. Yeah. That car shot more over 
all over 35 here. Step on that scale, I'd break it. Look at it, come on, what's correctly? And just items galore, man. Let's have a certainly had a dream. <laughs> some kind of a planner, I guess. I bought it a sale, nobody knew what it was. I think somebody made it, but they yeah. had it made for specific, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's societal. No kidding. I remember you bought that at the museum that day. We'll fly right in the building. Oh, when I bought it? Yeah. Was it over there? I thought that was more It was out of Dan Snyder's. Yeah. He got it out of Marshallville. He came off a barn out there somewhere. Mm. Okay. You gonna have how high is this silo? You can go inside of it over there. Go inside but it. how high is it? How high is it? 30 foot. 30 foot? Like okay. 30 foot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no kidding. So. Oh yeah, that's 30 for You can see the doors on this side. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pitchforking down into the cart. Pushing the cart in front of the cows and throwing it to them. And throw some corn on top of the silage and when they're done eating that, throw them some hay. 70 there, 61. One of 500. That's impressive. Out of yeah, you ain't nothing gonna smack you with that shield on there. Check out the plow on the back of this tractor. Oh, yeah. raise one up, lower the other one. Yeah, 219 14 M. Oh, that's cool. Um, I went to the one of the, I think it was. Fredericksburg they had a Super A set up like this. I mean, First year they put diesel engine in a tractor. It's a Buddha engine, Buddha diesel. No okay. kidding. They made 38 of them. I want, wonder what number this one is. <laughs> What's that? They made 38. What number is this? Yeah, do you know? I don't know. Yeah. I, don't know. I bought that off the Loud Doom one. Well, at the top of the museum, presto. Whoosh. We're doing the second floor. One more floor. One more floor. Whoosh. Just like I got a dead bird, Brandon. Dead bird. Yep, old starling. Yep. Got your meeting table here. Yeah, different clubs meet here. Yeah. 4-H, I think my trial has made with this here. Yeesh. I believe when I was buying all these salesman samples, these little silos, yeah. you buy them for $800,000. They had one just like that out of one, a last sale in January, brought $10,000. <laughs> Here's another damn starling. What the heck? I can't put many bushes. Well, another one by the door. I just kick out too. Oh, they'll get in the smallest of holes. I bet when I had the doors open last weekend, they flew in. You ever see this work? Oh, yeah. counterweight there. No. Oh. Yeah. Hang on. See that under there? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. They came out of Homerville, out of a barn in Homerville.
How many ever superior beet planters you ever seen? Four of them. Superior beet planter? Yep. It's, got, it's still got the paperwork with it. No kidding. Cockshot 20. Log dragger. Bird's eye view. See this wagon I got here? I got that in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Amish country. The guy had three of them. It was Alice, Alice Chowers guy. Can you tell by the color? Yeah. He had one smaller. He had one that was 10 feet longer than that. Huh. Then I went to take one and I saw that thing. Uh, that was good, good right there. Them articulating floorboards. Let's get uh, pedals you ever seen. Oh, you just pull behind, pull them behind it. Or? I mean, what size bowl are you pulling in there? I mean, Holstein bowl for service. Now, uh, you know. Them Holstein bulls be getting really big, though. I mean, I, I can jump right over. I, I mean, well, I mean that ain't you know. Well, they are bulls. That's made for Jersey or Jersey. I, I was mean, gonna say, get a two thousand pound Holstein in there, and that'd be a force to be reckoned with with that little. Really, so when the oh, that's cool. settlers came to America, they get to they get to Pennsylvania, they'd buy them a horse, maybe two horses and a cow, a wagon, and they'd buy a churn. So in the morning, they'd milk the cow, put the milk in the churn, this sits in the wagon. So all day long they're traveling, they're getting their butter churned. No kidding. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. How old is that? 1873, I think it is. Did you see that little John Deere pedal behind you there? No, I didn't. Or I'm not John Deere, I mean Oliver. That yeah. Dozer? Yeah, I don't think I any more than one. Everybody I've talked to said there's one of them. This light here is on. Oh, all. on the wrong side. That's what my trouble is. There we go. It's just stuff galore, man. I it just. Yeah, that's where we were just now. Huh. You ever seen stock choppers before? Not, well, not that old. But that is cool. I mean. They pull out the horse and on your, after you shock your corn, and then you drag that along and that wheel spins and that's what takes the stubbles out so you can plant your weight. Around. Yeah, you could probably set the, uh, the depth. Yeah. Do you ever heard the story about the scoot baker wagon? No. The scoot baker wagon. Sold the and just like that, my battery died. In the next video, we're going to get that SMTA home. New iron on farm. Boom.